Well, new at six, South Bay bus drivers are losing a popular perk. For years, they've been allowed to sleep in RVs in VTA parking lots to avoid their long commutes home. But KPX 5 Simon Perez reports now the agency may sell the land right out from under them. Simon. Juliet, this is the VTA Cerrone yard here in North San Jose. As you said, this is where they do maintenance, where they store vehicles, but it's also where employees stay in RVs during the week. Those employees say it's just too far to go back and forth from places like Sacramento, so they stay here. But the VTA says that program has to end. It would rather spend the money on transportation, not housing. RVs lined up side by side, just like at a campground. But this isn't a vacation spot. It's the workplace for about two dozen VTA employees. These are their temporary homes parked at the VTA's Cerrone yard during the week because it's too far to drive to their permanent homes. Some live in Sacramento, two hours away. With how much we make, we can't afford to live here. John Courtney represents these drivers and maintenance workers. He says it's about more than just convenience. Driving that far before getting behind the wheel of a bus makes for a long day. And drowsy drivers at work or on the way home are not good drivers. We would like to see VTA expand this program. This is a good program. This helps our people. We are very cognizant and empathetic to the housing crisis in the area. But we're also mandated to solve another huge crisis here in the area, which is transportation. So any of our resources really need to be dedicated to the transportation that, that's kind of plaguing our area, not housing. So the VTA is ending the program. Spokesperson Holly Perez says every dollar that's spent managing the program, handing out the permits, cleaning up spills, is a dollar that's not spent on unclogging the South Bay's traffic jams. How much are the costs or the expenses and where, would th where does that money come away from? I don't have the exact numbers. We would absolutely offer our, offer our services to continue this program. This is a fantastic program and there's no need, no reason to end it. Would you pay for security, stuff like that? <laughs> Everything's negotiable. The VTA does not have a specific end date for this program. It says everyone who's here right now can stay, just no new employees can move in. In San Jose, I'm Simon Perez, KPIX 5.